Well, I guess we have to uh, go back to Altaya now. Uh, but also uh, go past up a, a pub room as well. Because that's not great. Yeah, a pass. But we're already in. Why do we need a pass? That's confusing. Um, also, how many items are here? Oh, we've got all the chests. Where does this take us? Has the Empire gone from here? The, 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 the Dreadnought? We're doomed! They finished the Dreadnought. You have to tell Princess Hilda the Dreadnought's been completed. Look, all in good time. All in good time. Elixir costs like half... Like 50 grand. Ow. Just talk to Sid. He might know what the Dreadnought's weakness is. You know what? I'll do that. Alright, let's go talk to Sid first. He'll be at the port town. Wow, the first step we took <laughs> is an enemy. You know what? At least plenty of enemies. Which means uh, we get experience. We need to start swapping out, uh, swapping weapons around. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, down here. Wait, did they blow up the... Which port town did they blow up? The, the one that Sid was at? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, it's ruined. There's there's no um, there's no boat. They did blow up this town. The bastards. Sorry, but the ship's already left for Paloom. Oh, is it because we did take the ship back? You won the airship, you paid a guy behind me. What you want to do is blow up that thing's engine. Do that, and you can bring the whole over. You can bring down the whole overgrown tub. Thanks, it. Seven hundred gil? No thanks. I'll walk. We were attacked by the dreadnought. The dead. They're all dead. Well, let's... Welcome, please come in. It's seven gil. Because we really need the money to rebuild. Dude, dude I'll give you 70 to rebuild the town. Alright, let's go back. It's a long walk. It's okay. It's okay. This long walk's fine. As long as we're um, we're getting some modicum of experience, you know. So does fire evolve into fire too, though, for period?
or is it like no it has to be evolved because minimum was is using fire uh, cure seven all right leg eater They're just vines with faces So if you want to move the boat, you have to move the boat with the ship. Like you have to move the boat and then take the boat from the uh, existing port. They only have one boat, I guess. Is it destroyed? All right, all right, all right. Oh wow, it is, it is blown up. I'm hurt. Hurt real bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You still walking? You're fine? My daughter. They killed me, daughter. The dreadnought attacked and destroyed the entire town. Sorry, that was that was really bad pirate. Pirate talk. All right. Let's get to Altaiu. Man. Man, the Empress is a dick. All right. Really? Just when I'm outside of the town? At least make a little safe haven, you know? I'll buy more mithril, mith mithril weapons. No time to talk. There'll be work to be done. Wow, those are expensive. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think about how expensive those would be. Wait, but if that's the case, right? You! Buy my broadswords. And well, you had to buy the... Uh, buy the staff. And buy my knives. Oh my god. Double mace. No. Um, yeah, you go double knife this time. Alright. Hilda. There's a man in Puff named Sid who might just know... Uh, yeah, I, I, I know the, the thing already. Everyone outside is dead. If we don't destroy the Dreadnought, the casualties will only mount. Prince Gordon has disappeared. What a way. Uh, I'm, so sc I'm scared. Uh, so yeah, Dreadnought's built. Many were wounded when the, dread, uh, the Dreadnoughts attack. The shock even caused my father's condition to take a turn for the worse. I hate to see my, that my father has to see this. He knows. He knows his death is near. Is there nothing you can do, Minwu? All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. The fate of the world rests on you, Firion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. Minu left the party. Um, okay. 
Let's go see the king first for now. So we need to stop the Dreadnought. Hmm. Uh, oh well. Nothing seems to have happened. Alright, where do we go from here? Well, we have to stop the Dreadnought. And I guess we speak to Sid? Sid should know more. And oh, but we have a pass. Does that pass? I don't know why I entered. Does that pass get us into the the town? Not uh, first of all. Are you guys safe? The dreadnought, the dreadnought killed them all. Wait, so if we didn't speak to that. That kid just now, we would not have learned how to use the ring. All right, let me do a little savey save before we. Um, I want to see if I can even engage a knight. Rebel curse. The answer is no. But oh, hey, um, <laughs> hey, we have a pass. Alright, it's not this then. Alright, oh god, no. I don't want I don't want to go to depression bill. Alright, let's take the boat to see Sid. I'll pay the gill. Is it, well, that's a big old pile of depression going on right now, but I think it should be fine. Sid, 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 Sid has the answer. Sid, Sid, Sid will know. Right? Sid? Um. Oh wait, we can go to Cash One. Um, I'm gonna leave encounters off for now, until we find Cash One on the map. But we do have a pass. Do you guys reckon that Cash One's like? Here. Let's go north. S oh, can't go into the snow. All right, so evidently can't go anywhere yet. Uh, let's go to. But yeah, let's go find people to talk to. Let's find out where we need to go. Yeah, buddy's a little too late for that. Well, I'm I, I'm glad Salamander spared. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go to. Um, let's go back. No, this is the port. Let's go back here and see what we can do now. Ch 
shoot. Why is it you go up, but then now you go down? Oh, hang on. The dreadnought's head up a puffed. Oh, but puffed was already gone, so. Uh. Well, I'm not. You know, I'm a bigger man uh, to admit that I'm lost. First of all, I'm gonna go back to the uh, the dreadnought area, the one where the dreadnought's like landing, just to see um, just to see if this is the right way or not. Because you know, I don't want to be doing the wrong way. But this, this it, it, it's always like this with these uh, old games. It's like um. Um, it's always like, you know, it, it's not a, um, it's not like straight and true, you know? Ah! Well, it's not it. Um, I think what we what we're gonna do now is um what we're gonna do now is I guess I don't know um. Well, I'm lost. We'll, uh, we'll cut back to when I'm not lost. Because, uh, this is not great. Alright, guys. You want to hear something really silly? This entire thing is because we went too fast. We it accidentally skipped a, a section of the game where we talk to the princess and learn the keyword airship. And and then with the keyword airship we have then we speak to um uh uh Sid and we learned that the airship runs on something called Sunfire and the Sunfire um is actually in another town but because we didn't learn see there we go That was what was missing. So, anytime we see a um, a red word, we have to um, we have to learn it, right? What a oh! Thank goodness we didn't like like soft lock the game or something. I'm sure the game wouldn't soft locked. There has to always be a way through. And yes, I had to go look up a guide on how to, what what to do because I got so lost. Well, there's actually no sea encounters, so um, yeah, and um, so now we need to talk to um, uh, Lady Hilda and tell her about the the two important words that we found out: airship and sunfire. Hello. So, uh, about that dreadnought. Airship. Sunfire. Sunfire is the crest of the kingdom of Kashwan. Its flame still burns to the ground floor of Kashwan Keep. 
Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be helped by just any torch. Sid told us we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. Then there's no time to waste. You must depart for Kashwan Keep at once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey shouldn't take long. That leads to a question. What can you use to bring the Sunfire back? The ring! Scott's ring! That's it. That's it. All right. I I don't I don't know how much money you need to go to cash one, but I hope one thousand gills enough. Because boy, are we broke? Should have bought all those um all those uh, mithril weapons, especially with Minru leaving us. All right. Um. Maria's got two knives. Um, <laughs> yeah, guy, use two maces. Why not? All right, let's take the boat, and then go. Uh, yeah, and then we go take Sid's airship to Kashwan. So I don't know where it is. I'm gonna guess that it's not accessible yet. I mm. This is getting expensive. This is getting real expensive. So when you see a red word, it means like I guess it's like a key, it's like that's a keyword that you haven't learned yet. All right. Hey shit. I'm going to need a I'm going to need a flight. Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Let the flame get too high and you get a runaway on your hand. The engine will blow sky high. Alright, cash one 400. Yep. I still have a fair amount of... Um... Whee! Alright, where is this place? Okay, we definitely could not enter this place. Oh, I guess I, I guess we technically could. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't expecting there to be any monsters in here. We might... I might just back out and save. <laughs> Alright. Alright. It's now into cash one. All right, I see the flame in the middle and you know what? Good experience for um for guy to start learning how to use his maces, I guess. Holy crap. I don't know if we should start exhausting the... Um, start exhausting it. Uh, our MP as well. Sunfire blazes brightly. Why are we talking to it? Huh.
What the hell now? Am I missing something? Am I an idiot? There's nothing here. I guess maybe I should have talked to the um uh, maybe I should talk to the um the the king and tell him about the plan. Because that's because I guess that's the that was Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't being too clever, huh? Uh see the see what 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 we could have done is um yeah what we could have done is um we have to we have to talk to okay okay first of all i'm gonna walk back just in case there's any new enemies okay never mind this is a very far walk oh all right so oh oh my god you found a chocobo Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you, game. Look at the wiggle butt! Okay. Um, so, I'm gonna say uh, what I was saying just now. So, initially... Uh, what I thought was a... Um, you know, I had to... So, you speak to the king. And... You learn about the sunfire. And then you go talk to Hilda, and and then you mention Sunfire. And that's what I re I really went the wrong way. Uh, you speak to Hilda about the Sunfire, and then and then she'll t no, t about the airship, and then you tell Sunfire, and then she and then you, you that's when you go back, and then she's like, oh by the way Minru, leave my uh, go help my dad or something. So that's like the. Um, why is there a shadow looming? So that's when you. That's when you go. And that's when Minu leaves the party and you go talk to the king. And then we, sh we should probably talk to the king about the Sunfire and the Dreadnought as well. Ah. It's a lot of talking. I can't believe I just wasted 400 gil. Every three years, they celebrate the festival of the flame in Kashuan. During the festival, Sunfire is moved to Eagle's Torch, where the braziers cleanse. What about you? No one knows more about Airship than Sid. He was such a fine knight once. Oh, how men change. Scott sealed the gates of Kashwan Keep to protect the Sunfire in the event they were defeated in battle. You'll need the Goddess Bell. What about the whereabouts of the bell is only known to the Kashwan royal family? I guess I. You know what? I'm gonna talk to everyone now. Hilda, tell me about the Goddess Bell, even if you don't know about it. I heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of Kashwan keep only open to the voice of Kashwan or the ringing of the bell. The bell rests deep within the cavern on the snow plains. So, it's your intention to enter the snow cavern? Very well. If only Gordon was here, there would be no need for you to risk such danger. But he isn't, so you must. There's nothing I can do but pray for his success. Joseph knows the snow plains at the back of his hand. Alright, now we go speak to Joseph. I'll leave the encounters off while we go to Joseph. Joseph's the guy in um, uh, Salaman. The uh, the bald guy. The Nelly's dad. Okay. Ooh, you 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 are a uh, you are a a, a, cre a a sneaky one game. You sure are a sneaky one. Ah, 
I can't fault you. This is the second game, and of course they were trying new stuff. Alright, now I turn the accounts back on. Alright, Joseph. It's like you managed to save my daughter, thank you. That cowardly bargain has been threatening Nelly to get me. Forgive me. Is there anything I can do to help you? All you gotta do is ask. Alright, uh, tell me about the Dreadnought. Since the Dark Knight took over, construction's been moving ahead a lot faster than before. Airship. Sunfire. Uh, okay, so any new information is red. There's only one way to reach the snow cavern, and it's on my snowcraft. I keep the snowcraft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Look behind the stone and, and to the right. The secret room is there, and the snowcraft is inside. I'm sorry, I couldn't help you find the mithril. So now I want to make it up by pitching in. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh! Nice! Thanks, Joseph. Cool. Alright, what, 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 what's he got? Nothing. Alright, Joseph. You get... Axe. Oh my god. His punches are so strong that if you equip an axe, he just, like, loses strength. Come back soon, daddy. I'm sorry, but when, when, when someone says daddy, all I think of is, like, it's like fucking, um... Jimmy Hart, the wrestling manager. It goes like... Oh, no, daddy! That's what it sounds like. You damn, you damn right, daddy! That's what, that's what Jimmy Hart sounds like. Alright. At least we're, uh, we're doing some, some good damage right now. Once we get to go back, eventually, I'm going to assume we have to go back to Altair. So that's where we'll start getting a second Mithril um, sword. I know exactly what he's talking about as well. is the thing that I thought was a crystal. The little bulge sticking out of the cave. Um, I need to check the recording, and he says we've been going for about about uh, close to three hours now, right? And we still haven't met Leon yet. Isn't that isn't that just peculiar? I wonder where Leon could be. Uh, you know, uh, I guess like this is the first one that when they, they're starting to like, you know, um, they're starting to um, they're starting to um, in, you know, make make story a, like a more more uh, important part in this game. So it's like, you know, the the mystery and intrigue of where's Leon? Um, you know, uh, the mysterious Dark Knight, so on and so forth. But yeah, um, pretty cool like idea though. So, yeah, I think, despite the, the, despite the faults, you know, despite the faults, it is still a decently solid game. Right. That's why we're missing one item here. It's the damn s uh, Snowcraft. God damn, Joseph is tanky. Mm. 
Whoa, you just punching it? Joseph turns a small rock jutting out of the wall, and the passage appears. There's no crafts in here. I forgot what the snowcraft looks like. Is it? Please say it's just a sled. It'd be really funny if it's just a sled. There you go, 11. There's 27. Twenty-seven chests in Castle Flynn. But at least now the path is more set, you know. Let's go straight to the uh, snow, the snow area, and we can as well. We went by, we went, uh, we went by it just now. It's actually this way. Uh, we haven't encountered enemies on the sea yet, though. Maybe there just isn't any enemies on the sea. It's not like the little finer detail things that I just miss, you know? Uh, I'm a little more confident about giving Guy like the two um the two beating sticks. Because now that we have Joseph on our party, you know. Up, up north. I actually kind of like these eight enemies, although I, it is one less than the nine that you see in FF one, and then you go like, "Oh no." But it's fine. Look at that. Snowman. Beat him with a stick. Beat him with a stick, guy. Ooh. Just snowman, huh? Why not just call him Yeti? It's okay. A very vast snow area, huh? And we're looking for the bell. Where in the snow area? I cannot say for sure. But I'm willing to explore. Sixty-nine, nice. It's just all snowmen. Oh, ah, <laughs> duh. Hey, game, come on. You behave yourself. Alright, once we get to the mouth of the cave, I'm gonna save. I should have used all the items first before saving, but whatever. Alright, here we go. <laughs> 